Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and today's video is a morning routine. Now this morning routine is just super chill and super laid back because I'm not back at uni yet so it's just kind of like what I've been doing on a daily basis, kind of like just getting up whatever time I really want to, just kind of like chilling out, there's like no rush at all. So it is a very, very laid back morning routine. If you would like me to film another one when I'm back at uni, then please let me know down in the comments and I will more than happily do that for you. But without further ado, let's just jump straight into the video. Okay, so to begin with, here's me taking about three years to wake up because it takes me so, so long to actually feel like I'm alive in the morning. So I just kind of doze off and have a stretch and then doze off again and have another stretch. You guys know how it is. It takes me absolutely forever to wake up in the morning. But once I actually decide to keep my eyes open for longer than two seconds, I normally just grab my phone and my unicorn which I use to sit up with um, as like a headrest and I just kind of go through all my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, go through my Facebook and go on Snapchat, all that sort of stuff. I'll leave my Instagram and Twitter down below so you guys can go follow me and I just do that for about 20 minutes just to bring myself around a little bit more. Then I actually decide to move and I get out of bed and the first thing that I grab is my dressing gown. Always, regardless of whether it is summer or winter, I will always put my dressing gown on. I just feel so much more comfortable in it. And as well as that, I will put on some comfortable socks. I'm not really a slippers type person. I am a cozy socks type person. So I will also grab a pair of them and put them on in the morning. And then I will just make my way down the stairs, usually just checking my phone, texting people back, all that sort of stuff. And I will go into the kitchen. And the first thing I do in the kitchen is put the kettle on because as you can see, we have a really old fashioned kettle. So it takes about 1600 years to boil the water inside of it. And as that is boiling, I do then decide what I want for breakfast. So as you can see here this morning, I was very indecisive. I do always grab the carton of milk from the fridge as well and take a swig because I'm normally really thirsty in the morning. But that's okay because I'm the only one who drinks from this type of milk carton because it's a lactose free one. So I'm able to do that. And then I just continue to decide what I want to eat. This morning I decided that I wanted some of this porridge by Quaker Oats. It is the golden syrup flavour. It's absolutely delicious and it's very, very healthy for you. And it's super easy to make. You just pour it into a bowl, pour some milk into like the little packet e sachet thing. Yes, I did spill it. And pour that into the bowl as well. And then just go place it in the microwave for two minutes and bob to your uncle. So then whilst that's in the microwave, I just got my cup of coffee kind of ready for when the water had actually boiled because it is still boiling by this point. It, like I said, it takes about 1600 years and I just used this Nescafe original um, coffee and I just put a really big scoop of coffee in because I really need strong coffee in the morning because at this point I'm still probably not fully awake and then I wait around for quite a little while but I kind of cut all that out because it was a little bit boring so here it is with my kettle boiling then I do just pour it into my big mug add a little bit of milk in there and then I like my coffee really sweet but I don't like using a lot of sugar so I put in these flavour drops from my protein and this is the maple syrup flavour and oh my god it just adds the nicest flavour ever into the coffee. Then once my coffee was made my um, porridge beeped in the microwave as you heard so I just grabbed it out and mixed it around a little bit and I also added in some of this flavoured syrup from my protein which again is the maple syrup flavour but it makes sense to add it into this porridge because it was the maple syrup flavoured porridge but I just like everything super super sweet I have a really sweet tooth so I just put a lot of that in my porridge and mix that in and then I take everything through into the back room 
which is why I usually eat my breakfast in the morning just because I can put my phone on charge and just chill out a little bit more and whilst I'm in the back room I just normally put some YouTube on sit and watch a couple of um, daily vlogs because I'm really into daily vlogs at the moment and just sip on my coffee and eat my porridge and that's pretty much all I do I'll probably text some people back you know all the phony type things that you do in the morning And after I've ate breakfast, I will then go and brush my teeth just so that I don't forget if I'm honest because if I don't do it straight after my breakfast, I can sometimes forget, which is a bit gross. And once I've brushed my teeth, I will jump in the shower and I always listen to music in the shower. Today I put on London Grammar's Strong. I'm absolutely loving this song at the moment. I know it's a little bit old, but I recently refound it and I've non-stop been listening to it. I'm not gonna lie. And I'll just hop in super quick and then I'll hop out, get dry, moisturise a little bit maybe if I'm feeling like I want to moisturise and then I will get changed and sit down and do my hair. Today I was at work unfortunately so it was just going up in a ponytail which didn't take me too long but yeah it's just a simple pony. You guys know how to do that. After I put my hair up in a ponytail before I actually get properly ready, I normally enjoy tidying around my room a little bit, so I'll make my bed, so I'll any clothes that's on the end of my bed that I've just left on from the day before, fold them up, put them away, all that sort of stuff, put my coats away, just general tidying up, it just makes me feel a little bit cleaner and a lot more ready for the day. And then after that I will get on with my makeup. Now I'm not going to show you anything that I'm using because that is a completely different video and that's not what we're here for. So here's me doing my makeup super super quickly. Whilst I'm doing my makeup I do normally listen to music or watch YouTube depending on how behind I am but and I can't really remember what I was doing this morning whether I was listening to music or watching YouTube one of the two but yeah he's me just do my thing with my makeup And then here's me appreciating my makeup because if you don't appreciate your makeup after you've finished it, have you even finished it correctly? You know what I'm saying? And after I've finished my makeup, I normally just put on some clothes for the day and then get on with whatever I've got planned. And that's the end of my morning routine. So like I said at the beginning of the video, it is a very chilled morning routine at the moment. I have a lot of time on the morning to wake myself up, which is good because it takes me quite a while to wake up. But when I'm at uni, it is a complete different kettle of fish. So like I said, if you want me to do a uni morning routine, then make sure to let me know down in the comments. Whilst you're down there, then make sure to hit the like button if you've liked this morning routine. And there's also a red subscribe button down there, which I'd absolutely love for you to press. It means you get notified every time I upload a video, which is brilliant. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye.